Yo, what's going on everybody, it's your boy JDog3015, back with another Skate 3 video, and today's Skate 3 video, I got another game save for you guys. This game save comes with all the Dr. Pepper stuff, including the two shirts, the Dr. Pepper hat, and the Dr. Pepper can man. It also comes with this pink realistic board with two white stripes in the bottom. But before we get into the skater, if you enjoyed the video so far, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications for weekly videos. Alright, now let's take a look at this skater. As you guys can see here, we got the Junkie Jersey skater with the Obey hat and pink hands. This skater also comes with a yellow, pink, and blue bottom board and a realistic black grip tape. Alright, now let's take a 360 shot of this skater. A message pops up right there because we're wearing the white demo glasses and as I said before, we're wearing the junkie jersey and the Obey hat, pink hands, and a custom board. Now if we switch genders right here to the female, it's the exact same thing, but on the female. So if you like that, that's on the game save as well. I'm curious, what do you guys rate this skater out of 10? Is it a 10 out of 10, 4 out of 10, 3 out of 10, or 7 out of 10? Comment down below. Now, if you guys don't know how to get this on your Xbox 360, stick around later for a tutorial on how to do that. Also, if you guys haven't checked out any of my other videos on game saves, I'll leave something in the top right corner for you guys to check out. And if we go to free play right here, like I said at the beginning of the video, this save comes with all the Dr. Pepper stuff, including the Dr. Pepper Can Man. Alright, without further ado, let's take a look at these logos on this game save. So for the first logo, of course, we got is the black box. For the second logo, we got the Obey Hat logo. And for the third logo, we got the Junkie Jersey logo. And for the fourth logo, we got the Zorro logo with the blue, the pink, and the yellow. Now right here, I'm going to show you guys how to get that first board you saw at the beginning of the video with the realistic pink and the two stripes on the bottom. All you have to do is go in between one, which is the black box, and three, which is the Jersey logo. And before you know it, you have a realistic pink grip tape and stripes on the bottom just like this. Alright, so last week I posted a poll for you guys, girl or guy for the next import, which is this import, and 75% of you guys voted for guy. So this week, it's gonna be a guy. That being said, if you guys add me right now at import dog, I can add you back and you can get this sick looking junkie jersey skater for the mail as an import. Yeah, it's once again import dog and keep in mind I only do this import for one week or up to 100 friends on Xbox 360. So if you guys are viewing this a week or two after the video has been uploaded, I probably came out with a new video and a new skater. So keep an eye out for that. All my imports are first come first serve. So if my friends list is full, it's probably because I have the maximum amount of friends on Xbox 360, which is 100 friends. But don't worry about that because the next following week after a hit of 100 friends, I always delete everybody so it's a fresh new start for anyone who wants an import. And if you missed the import, feel free to get the game save because I share that as well. And with the game save, you have the black box and all the logos that I showed previously. So if you want, you can remake the skater or change it up to make a whole new skater. Also, before we get into this tutorial, after every video that I upload, I post a poll for you guys to vote for the next week's skater. So keep your guys' eyes out for that, and if you're here for the tutorial, that's coming up right now. Just before we get into this, all the download links are in the description for Horizon and the game save itself. So, before you guys do anything else, just download those links. Alright, so if you guys are doing this for the first time ever, go onto your 360, start up Escape 3, 
and you want to make a brand new uh, game save that has like nothing on it this is a good way to ensure that nothing would go wrong um, if you're doing it from scratch but if you already have a game save that's okay too now on your 360 you want to grab your USB stick and plug that bad boy in and then select USB storage and then make a new game on it I'll speed up this process so you don't have to really uh, see it all Alrighty, so once you're set up, you want to go to Edit Skaters and then Edit Skater. Now you just want to change like one little thing and then back out so it saves. I'm just going to put this uh, a little graphic on there just to ensure it's something different. So yeah, you want to have that little icon right there. It's just a saving icon. Once you get that, you can back out. I'm just going to show you guys that there's no graphics on this. Awesome. Once it's saved, you can just back out of your Xbox 360 and then you can go into your computer. Remember to unplug your USB from your Xbox 360 because you'll need that later. Now, on Horizon, you got to grab that USB and then plug it into your PC. Once your USB is in your PC, you want to start up Horizon. Once you're in uh, Horizon, you want to go to your USB storage device, you want to go to Games, you want to go to Escape 3, and then you want to go to your profile. Sometimes your profile says unknown, but then you got to check what date has been modified, basically the day that you created it. So we pulled it out, I go to Contents, go to Skater P, and then go to Replace. Now when you want to place it with the skater.p that you downloaded before, and the same thing for the rmcdel as well. After you do that, you want to save, rehash, and resign, and then that's it. Make sure you uh, remove your USB, and then you can go on to your 360. Once again, the download for the game save will be in the description down below. Now, on your Xbox 360, all you have to do is plug in your USB into your 360. And then you want to go ahead and start up Skate 3. Now, like before, when you press Start and A, you want to select your USB storage. And make sure, right here, you do not connect to EA Nation, or else you lose your black box and graphics. It's very important. Remember, we went from basically having one skater and nothing to having all five skaters, and you can see in the top left, there's a black box. Now I'm gonna show you guys that we do have graphics, the one, two, three, four right here. And remember before we didn't have any at all so I'm just gonna put the black box on the board right now yeah and that's pretty much it um, thank you guys for watching I hope you guys liked the video and uh, hope you guys like and subscribe and I'll catch you later